Let's talk for a moment about John Keats' poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn. What are the scenes that Keats sees pictured on the side the of the musician is playing these uh, melodies unheard that pipe to the spirit, ditties of no tune. In other words, that Keats standing there can hear the music across the centuries. And next to the musician, he sees a young couple, a young couple who's about to kiss. And that moment is frozen in time, so the young man can never quite kiss the young woman, and she uh, can never can never receive the kiss. But both of them are in that one perfect instant in time, frozen now forever. And he says, bold lover, never can thou kiss the winning near the goal. And he tells him not to grieve, because on the other hand, she cannot fade. Uh, though you don't have your bliss, uh, forever will you love, and forever will she be fair. Now, at the end of the poem, after we see the, uh, the town emptied of its people, because they've all come here with that heifer uh, dressed in garlands on its silken flanks for the uh, for the big barbecue and the music and the lover and the lovers are, are about to kiss at the end of the poem Keats tells us that the urn itself will remain in midst of other woe when old age shall this generation waste okay so all of Keats friends uh, the whole society of busy London in the uh, early 19th century, all gone, all dust, just as the makers of the urn are. But uh, the urn is still here for us to see, or a number of these urns with, with pictures on them. And they will be here when we ourselves are gone. Um, thou, the urn, shall remain in midst of other woe than ours. And what is the message of the urn? What does it tell them? What does it tell us? It's just a few words. Beauty is truth. Truth, beauty, is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know. And that is John Keats' Ode on a Grecian Urn. Thank you.